What's good, YouTube? Y'all can't see me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, John Cannon. And uh, before this video starts, I want to let you know that the winner of the, the gift, the $25 Chipotle gift card, and your name is right here, uh, you can reach me on Instagram, Snapchat, or my email. Uh, you, got a, you got a solid 24 hours to hit me up, my mans, before that gift card belonged to me. Secondly, shirt launch is live. Shirt launch is live. It was live Friday at 10 a.m. But see, I had a video. It was this same video, but I shot it at 3.30. I watched it back, and it, I wasn't charismatic enough. So, we just... Go buy a shirt, please. I got some more left. Just... Please! I just want to get closer to my dream of getting rich and then acting like I don't know nobody. So, just... Let's get into this, this review. First of all, the can is really thick. This shit is... <clears throat> this shit is really thick. The design is really simple. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, listen. It's that kind of tin can. It smells herby and it, it don't smell good. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. It does not smell... It's, it's thick. It smells like grapefruit herb. But we're gonna see how this shit tastes. Right now I'm getting ready to go do these product pictures. But before I do, and before I work out, let's just get to this taste. It's not. All right, listen, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Earlier, when I got the package, I opened it hot. Like this, I got happy as shit, right? And I just ripped it open, popped it, oh, popped this open, and tasted it, and I hated how it tasted. And I was like, fuck it, I'm about to make this review and shit on this drink. But then I was like, my brother, my girlfriend was like, hey, put it in the refrigerator. So I did that, and it tastes significantly better. It still does not taste as good as White Monster. For them to ask you who you know. Alright y'all, so not only is this a up review, it's also going to be a comparison video to White Monster. Because let's not sit here and act like we don't know that this is the genius power move in the fitness community, Christian Guzman, to take them out because they, we going to get into that later, alright? So basically we're going to, um, we're going to break this down into two into three sections and give, then give them like a cumulative score at the end. And it's gonna be number one on affordability and everything that has to do with the money, the shipping, the this, the that, the other, whatever. Okay, we're gonna break down to affordability and everything to do with money with these two products. We're gonna break it down into taste, okay? That's, that's crucial. Ain't nobody out here about to be drinking piss, you feel me? Um, and lastly, we're gonna break it down into affordability in terms of what you're getting out of the product, the ingredients, okay? And at the very end, I'm gonna give those three sections a full score, and I'm gonna let y'all know which one won, in my opinion. Now, I am unbiased in this. Uh, I love me some Christian Guzman, you know what I'm saying? I love me some Summer Shredding, but I love my money more than all of that, so when it comes to what I'm getting, my bang for my buck, I wanna know which one of these I need to be drinking. All right, so when you go to the website, just at face value, the first thing you see is a 12 pack of Up Energy, and it costs $29.99. You do have the option of saving yourself 5%, which is gonna come up to a whopping total of $1.50 off of the entire price, which brings your total to $28.49, okay? Now, there is a flat rate, now there is a flat rate shipping, and that is really, really good because the flat rate is five dollars a shipping, which you know people love that. But you do have to add that into the price, into like the price of freaking how much each bottle costs. That brings your total to thirty-three dollars and forty-nine cents, which means each can of Up Energy costs two dollars and seventy-nine cents. Okay, a 10 pack at Walmart of White Monster costs $14.48, which comes up to $1.44 or $1.45, depending on 
how they round up or down. I, I don't have a shirt on because it's the next day. Cool. So, in terms of your money, Monster is the obvious, the obvious, wow. In terms of your money, Monster is the most obvious choice that you want to choose between the two. Now, let's talk about ingredients. Mm, that side lighting is atrocious. When you want to break it down into the ingredients, the ingredients on up is right here on the side of the bottle. The ingredients on Monster is right here. I don't even want to go into this, bro. Like, up the first couple of ingredients sounds super de duper. Like, carbonated water, of course, citric acid, ethorotol, taurine, sodium citrate, caffeine, natural and artificial flavoring, sucrose, sodium benzenate. In parentheses, preserve in parentheses, preservative, potassium, sorbate, preservative, panax, ginseng root, L carnitine, gum ash okay. Alright. And same same kind of crazy crap for uh for this. Literally the same the first like six ingredients are the exact same. The only difference between these two is that this has two hundred milligrams of caffeine per can and this has 140 if I'm not mistaken yes this has 140 per can so you're getting more bang for your buck over here but this still costs more per milligram of caffeine I was just watching that video back and I just want to say that, that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever said in my entire life okay back to the video bye right I think I'm right do the math yourself I don't feel like it I need to post this video so in terms of ingredients I'm gonna have to give this a 9 out of 10 because not many energy drinks are going to give you that much caffeine. This is really underdosed. And I know you're thinking 60 milligrams of caffeine, but that's almost a whole cup of coffee less in the same amount of drink. You understand what I'm saying? So, if you if you're not really tripping over a dollar and something per can, you know what I'm saying? And you just want your caffeine, you don't want to drink two of these in a day. You might just need one of these. To get you because sometimes you can you you need more energy for monster okay so you drink another one then you have too much energy but this right here i lie to you not in my personal experience one of these if you drink it at the right time during the day you're only gonna have to drink one now y'all know me if you follow me on snapchat or instagram y'all i've had a whole ordeal with monster I, i'll end up drinking two sometimes three of these if i have like a 14 hour work day in one day i took this to work one day because I didn't have a meal and I knew that the caffeine in it would really like keep me full caffeine that's that's a side effect it keeps you like it satiates your hunger is that the right word cool and uh, one of these did me well so I can personally vouch that this is better than this in terms of how it makes you feel okay and uh, what was the last point I said I was gonna hit on let me rewatch the video. Down to price in terms of ingredients of what you get. I kind of did that, but let me give y'all the specific price for up in terms of caffeine and monster in terms of caffeine, okay? So up is $2.79 per can. That's with the discount, that's with the shipping, and that's the price per bottle, okay? $2.79 divided by 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's 0 0.013 cents. 1.3 cents per milligram of caffeine that's how much it costs now with monster monster costs uh one dollar and 45 cent per can divided by 140 milligrams which is going to give you 0 0.010 so one cent per milligram of caffeine monster still winning in that category so we're going to give monster because it's not that much of a difference we're going to give monster a seven out of ten and up a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, so let's just go ahead and break these scores down and uh, really get into what I personally think is better and what I'll personally be drinking from now on mostly. I'm still gonna fuck with both of them, you feel me? So, um, in terms of taste, White Monster is, is killing up, I'm sorry. Uh, so out of 10, White Monster's gonna get an eight. And up is gonna get a six. I I really because I've heard a lot of people say that they like the taste. So this is just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Flavor. If he comes out with another flavor, I'm sure I fuck with some fruit punch. I I, I like some some other flavor. I don't like this grapefruit herby taste that is so prevalent in up. Okay. Um, number two, price per can. You have 
to give Monster a solid 9 out of 10. But because Up you have to pay for shipping, it's a new company, it's not as a big of a company at all, I'm gonna have to give them an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna have to give Christian Guzman an 8 out of 10 because that's pretty dang close for, you know, comparing the two companies, okay? Um, then we're gonna have to go by what's actually in it and to be honest as somebody in the fitness community we use cat we abuse the heck out of caffeine i'm not promoting this i'm just saying we do abuse it i know i abuse it we use caffeine to suppress hunger we use caffeine to fuel us in the gym we use caffeine when our carbs are low and we're just tired throughout the day and um me personally how I, it makes my body feel better up makes my body feel better i get more caffeine out of the one can that i'm drinking instead of drinking two cans of monster during the day and spilling over and not being able to go to sleep i can drink a can of up and then you know by the time the nighttime comes it's all gone versus drinking a can of monster in the beginning of the day then a can of monster in the beginning of the day and by the end of the day i still feel that energy it's not good for anybody you know what i'm saying Okay, and uh, what was, oh yeah, ingredients, price per milligram of caffeine. Uh, I thought Up was going to come up with the clutch, but it, it didn't. And at the same time, I'm not mad because if the price is so much more per can, and it's still like right there, I mean, that's not much of a difference in terms of that price. It's still right there, then I'm going to have to give Up an 8 out of 10, I'm going to have to give Monster a 9 out of 10. Okay, so in all, Up got a 31 out of 40, and Monster got a 34 out of 40. And even though I feel like Monster is the better product that I should be consuming, I'm going to consume the product that, that somebody in my industry created. And honestly, it's because I feel like everyone should be low-key salty about how Monster is doing the fitness industry. Unless y'all know something I don't. Who Monster out here sponsoring? I'm not saying that Christian Guzman is sponsoring people with Up, but he is giving, he's sponsoring people in the fitness community. He is. Okay, Monster has gotten so much free publicity from almost everyone in the fitness community. Big, small, wherever. And we ain't seeing no get back. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like at the end of the day, you should just buy Up anyway, because Monster... They not, they not, they not trying to help. They just here to get your money and get out, just like me. You know what I'm saying? So, man. No, buy Monster. Buy Monster. Let make them richer. Okay, just like you should. Buy a shirt. But I'm gonna keep buying up. Buy. No, but seriously, I think Up is a solid product, and with like the genius of Christian Guzman behind it. It'll, it'll be better and better and better and better. And I'm going to keep buying it. The, the can, everything is just really, really high quality. Buy it, try it. He said if you don't like it, you can send it back and get your money back. So I don't see a downside to it, okay? But at the end of the day, all y'all need to do is remember three things, and y'all going to be all right. That's if you train good, eat good, and sleep good, then that's a good-ass life. Buy a shirt. Bye.